probably followed me out of the house and then thought, Brrr! and they went back in the house. That's really good. Yeah. Right, I've just got to wait for this window to dim a little bit. Did you just burp and blow it at me? <laughs> Come on, Holly. Where are you? So we're just dropping off boxes and boxes of cakes for Hermes and so. And Holly didn't fancy driving over us last morning, so. Was... Dad. Right, we got a couple of jobs to do this morning. Um, first one, I think, I'll just go down and make sure my MXU is going to start not actually been used or even started since we last had it serviced which was three well four weeks ago I think it was um, but I got a bit of a trip with her tomorrow and Friday so we've got to have the tractor ready hay trailer ready because I've got to get the creek feed off the top of there as well because I've got a lot of bales to deliver to a mutual friend but I ain't gonna do that if he didn't start so the idea is I'm, I've got a half an hour's work to do around the yard here if I can get him to go now I'll let him run up for half an hour warm up get the blood flowing get the battery charged up a little bit and then he's ready to go either later on this afternoon or tomorrow I know she's just been serviced but always worth checking Actually, quite a lot of oil in her. Right, we'll give her a moment to think about it. A little bit of this. And this will all now depend on the state of the battery. This battery is, this is the second battery the tractor's had, so I think the battery's about five years old. So it should be okay. the service isn't actually completed there was one hydraulic filter that needs to go on there and the radiator cap well I know the engineer has got all the bits it's just getting round to coming in and doing it so but we'll just top the water up before we go later yeah. you've had your breakfast nothing anymore so second job on the list this morning is I've got eight cubic meters of widget to deliver only local but um i got the order yesterday and i'll get that one ticked off the list this morning uh and then this afternoon we can fiddle around with the trailer i'll get the trailer out we'll make sure he's got all grease reined in make sure all the brakes and lights and everything work so we're ready to go either later on today or tomorrow and that's the plan this thing never needs a heat he always just goes You there, Liam? Hey, you up here, Liam? Okay.
coming up. One down, two more to go. My tip's only about a mile and a half away, but I'll just check on that before I go. warning light is because the expansion bottle is still a little bit low so but I know that so okay I think we're okay to go for 10 minutes I should keep them happy for a couple of days, which would be just as well because after tomorrow this kids here won't be here for a couple of days, so I'll need to be on top of it. They got somewhat dry lay on out here because that's where they prefer to be outside. That is cold, but the one plus of it being cold is the big puddle in the middle of the yard but it's not there we do for time dinner time in a minute so this afternoon we need to change over the bucket on the skid steer to the pallet excuse me pallet forks Take the calf creep feeder off of the uh, marshal trailer, put the marshal trailer on the tractor. Mm. Mm, or should I do it there? Or I'll just grease him up where he is, ready for the off either later today or tomorrow. It'll probably be tomorrow now because I've had a phone call from the care home where my mother is, and apparently one of the staff has uh, had a positive COVID test, so I can't visit for a week. Unfortunately, so I kind of knocked in the head for my plans for tomorrow morning. I was going to go and visit mother tomorrow morning as usual And then do bells in the afternoon, but maybe maybe I'll just do all day tomorrow Yeah, I don't think I'm washing my boots off this morning You ready? Someone thinks there's a mouse under there. Are you going to stay and look at the mouse or you come with me? I think it's a case of mouse is more interested. Rats. 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 Rats.
Guts. 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 Okay, right, well, I'll leave Biscuit to play with her mouse. But, uh, she's convinced it's under the feed bin, it probably is. Oh, no, I'm going to secure this lot on, will So, yeah, we've got a little job tomorrow for uh, a mutual friend. A lot of you will already be um, acquainted with the Funky Farmer. Back in the late summer, when we did our second cut of uh, hay and silage, I knew we were going to have a surplus. Um, so I said to Richard then, I said, if you want any, shout and I'll put some aside for you. And he did, and he put, um, put a few bells aside, and now we need them. So tomorrow I'm going to spend part of the day um, take this trailer over, the tractor over, I have to come back and get the skid steer. Um, Richard isn't too worried if I have spiked the bales um, to load them up because he's going to feed them pretty much straight away. But you know what? It's not really much harder for me to take the elephant nose over. I might just as well, if I can take the bells over to him un unbroken, um, the wrap intact, it just means that if he doesn't use them straight away, they're going to last longer. So, And it's no real hardship to me. So that's what we'll do. We'll take the elephant nose with us. That can come on the trailer. There's no point me taking that over on the skidster because that's more weight on the little trailer. But uh, yeah, that's going to be tomorrow's little adventure. And maybe something else for Saturday. But I'm not telling you about that. So you'll, you'll find out in good time. go very far sorted that's going nowhere right so the next thing is I mean this trailer's only done a couple of trips but it's probably still gonna be worth my while having a little crawl about underneath here we're all chocked and just seeing if it's worth banging a bit of grease about if I can just work out where the grease goes Okay, shout if you spot a grease nipple. Hmm. Grease nipple? Anybody? I was convinced there would be grease points on there somewhere. Perhaps I've got to look from the back. I'll get out and get back in again. Oh, there's one. There's one. So there is two grease points there. Okay. Where's the top one then? in there perhaps he's solid in there so maybe it's just these two so that one and that one that need a bit okay that's simple enough we can do that if we get out stuck It's very shiny under here. Okay. Right. So, it does appear. Just, just the two. What have you found in there? Well, you see a tail. You got another one in there? Yes, just another. This is our third old railway wagon. I'm sure you've seen it before. An old, um, very old. Oh, 
There's something in there, biscuit, because I saw it. It's in there. It's furry, brown, and you know, rat size. In there. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so yeah, this is our uh, uh, third rubber wagon. This used to be, if you look in there, that used to be where Abby used to keep her ferrets years ago. Yes, Abby kept ferrets. But, uh, that was until they escaped. But they never went very far, they were always around. So we put them back in and they'd escape again. So in the end, they were rehomed because she got fed up with looking for them. Okay, so I've got one strap there, I've got three more, four more straps, four other four straps in the barn. Uh, we will be taking bales only um, a couple of miles down the lanes. So they've still got to be strapped on, but I haven't got to go mental with the straps. It's not like I'm doing 50 miles. It is literally two miles down country lanes. We're not going to be doing 40 kph. We're going to be going, excuse me, hurry. We'll be going fairly gentle with it. So no need to rush. Come on, biscuit. Just go for the beast gun. Okay, again, that might look a bit dirty. They haven't actually had a fresh bed of chip in there for, this is four days now. One of the reasons for that is they spend more time lying outside. They prefer to lay outside. And uh, she's bullying. Where's the bull? Oh, he's over there. She got a bullying string hanging out of her. So cattle men will know what a bullying string is. Those of you that don't, basically it's just a it's like a string of mucus that hangs down from their lady bits. Um, use your pretty good indication that they're um, ready to invite some attention from Hercules. Although the way he's looking at her, she may have already had it. Repeatedly. <laughs> 